Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Coin City game. Okay, let's take a look at the game. And when you first start the game, you'll be presented with this menu, and you can choose to play the regular advanced version. And I'll show you the difference between those two versions uh, when in this video. So let's go ahead and click the uh, regular button and see what the regular game looks like. Here's the instruction. Let's go ahead and skip over that since I'll be going over that. Now, here's the uh, little coin city and over here tells you what level you're on this is your time bonus and this is the amount of points that you'll get when you complete the objective over here and it goes down slowly with time so the quicker you get the objective the higher uh, bonus you'll get now this button here toggles a sound on and off oh, I'm sorry the music on and off this one ta toggles a sound this one will pause the game at which point you can continue to play the game or go to the main menu let's go ahead and click continue and this will recycle the level at which you'll get another target um, now the uh, this will tell you how much you've delivered to the bank this will how much tell you what the target value is that you need to take to the bank and here's your mini map uh, the object of the game is to get the target value to the bank, and the way you do that is you drive to a coin, pick it up, drive it back to the bank, and then go get another coin um, until you get the, the target amount. In this particular case, we need to get 26 cents, and I'm going to drive the car over the quarter, take it to the bank, and then go over and get the penny and drop it on, drop it on uh, off at the bank. The way you control the car is with the up arrow, drive the car forward. The back arrow slows it down or goes backwards, and the left and right arrow keys steers it. Let's go ahead and pick up the quarter, and let's take it to the bank. And now, if you notice, right now. I have a I picked up the cord and it tells me the what coin I have in the car. So that kind of gives you an indicator that lets you know what you have in the car and the fact that you did pick up a coin. Go ahead and drop it in the bank and you got to park it in a little parking spot here and it tells me that I've delivered 25 cents so far and I need to get uh, 26 cents. So I need to get a penny over here and let's go ahead and get that. Now I want you to notice one thing on on the map now. As you, if you notice, uh, right now there's a penny here, and you can see, and as, I, as it goes off the screen, there's a little symbol here showing that there's a penny over there, and you see these other coins showing up. And basically, that's to let you know um, where objects are when they go off the screen. So you can tell the bank's over here, the uh, quarter's over that way, and a penny is over that other direction. So that kind of just a little help help for you to find certain coins. Let's go ahead and complete the level by dropping the penny off to the bank and there it is and it tells me that I got the right amount in the bank by getting one penny and one quarter. Well that's how you play the regular version. Let's go ahead and take a look at the advanced version and the advanced version plays just the same with the exception of now um, you have you still have a target value but you need to pay attention to how many coins you need to now the targets two cents here so of course it'll be two pennies but as you go along in later levels there will be three or four coins and you'll have to get a specific amount of coins and with a specific value so you can't just go over and, and pick up any coin just to get the values you'll have to be sure you have the right amount of coins well that's how you play the game i hope you enjoy playing the game it's it's a fun little money counting uh driving game and uh thanks for watching